Okay, so now let us look at what do we mean by complement of a set. Well, to put it in a funny way, complement simply means a set telling everything else except myself. That's what a set thinks about. That, that's what we mean by complement. So, to put it in another perspective, the complement of a set is a set that consists of all the elements except the set under consideration. That is what we mean by a complement of a set. Now let's look at how do we define the complement of a set in mathematics. We would say that for a set A, its complement is defined as A tick and this you should look at this sign over here, this tick. So this is how we define a complement. So the, the complement of a set comprises of all those elements which are not present in it but they are present in the universal set so it's like everything except me in the universe comprises of the complement of a set that is me okay now how do you represent that using a Venn diagram so this is what we saw so we have this a complement everything in the universe except the set itself and if I look at this the whole universe is contained within this uh, rectangle okay so everything within this universal set that we are looking at and that would be this part here so everything here except for this set A which is so this portion here it represents a complement okay now let me just write it again this is a complement okay and interestingly you will find out that if you combine a and a complement you get the universal set which is one of the properties that we will study so let's look at the properties of complements and this this is just one we said that when you combine a that is a union a complement you get the universal set and this is what is uh, you can see over here right a and a complement both of them together they form the universal set now a intersection a complement is phi which means you can look at it what is common between a and everything else except a it's nothing right and therefore a intersection a is phi that is an empty set now there are two important laws which we call as the de morgan's laws very very helpful and will help a lot in doing some of the set operations um, some problems on set that we are going to do later on so a union b complement so what are we doing here on the left hand side we combine two sets okay we are combining two sets that is a union b forming a new set and then we are taking the complement of that new set okay that's what we are doing now this operation of taking a union and then taking the complement of that union is the same as the intersection of the complement of the individual sets right so instead of doing this com uh, that is doing a union b and then taking its complement if you were to take the complement of a and the complement of b and find out the common elements between the complements you would get the same result and the same rule it applies when you do intersection so you want to find out the complement of a intersection B that is you find out the common elements between A and B and then you find the complement of that this would be same were you to do the complement of A and complement of B and combine them were you to do a union on the complements of A and B now these are very very important laws in fact it would be a good exercise for you to try to understand these using the Venn diagrams it's a good exercise 
and helps to internalize these laws okay the other part is if you take the complement of a set of a complement that is you have a complement and then you take the complement of that you get the set again just try to think about this intuitively so you have this set a the complement of this is a and what would be the complement of this one it has to be the set itself and that is how you get this part now the complement of a null set is the universal set and the complement of the universal set is the null set so this was about complements and now we will proceed to look at some problems that involve these operations that we have seen